Hi, I'm Benoit Blanchon. I'm your host for C++ for Arduino. And today I will talk to you about string interning. So string interning, sometimes called string pooling, is an optimization that consists of storing only one copy of a string no matter how many times the program references it. While it's undoubtedly of great benefit to our program, we'll see that it also comes with a few pitfalls. Why this optimization? Did it ever happen to you to write the same string several times in the same program? I know it occurs to me all the time. For example, I would write something like color equals black and later in the code I will I will compare the string with strcmp color um, black and if it match I will do something okay so as you can see I wrote the string literal black twice does this mean that the program contains two copies of black more importantly does it mean that the program loads two copies in the RAM? Fortunately, the answer is no to the two questions. Thanks to the string interning optimization, only one copy of each literal is stored in the program, and only one is loaded in the RAM. Let's do a quick demo. Let's erase it. So I will, I will clear, create two variables holding a string, the so one will be named uh, S1, this one will be black, and S2 will be black too. And uh, my goal is to prove that the two pointers uh, point to the same address. So I will print them to the serial port, print and... But if I do that, uh, it will print the string black. So what I want is to cast the the pointer to an integer, so it prints the the, the value as a, the address as an integer. I will cast it to the type in PTR. So in PTR is um, is an integer type whose size matches the the size of a pointer, hence the name. And do the same thing for S2. Uh, before doing that, we need to initialize the serial port, mm -hmm. and uh, wait a little. Mm. Okay, and upload. Okay, let's see the result. As we can see, both variables have the same address, so meaning that only one copy of the string black is stored in the run. This optimization is performed by the compiler. In C++, the compiler performs the string interning, so the deduplication can only happen at compile time. It means that if your program assembles two identical strings in RAM, there will be two copies. In other words, the optimization works only for the strings not known at compile time, the string literals. In other languages, like C-sharp or Java, the string interning also happens at runtime, because the .NET runtime or the Java virtual machine implements this optimization. In C++, we don't have a runtime environment that could perform this optimization, so we only have it at compile time. If for some odd reason you want to disable this optimization, GCC, the compiler behind Arduino, supports the flag f no merge constant. So we won't do that today, but if we use this flag, the, the, the two address here will probably be different. And by the way, the, the compiler performs the same optimization on uh, float literals like, uh, I don't know, um, like, like this could be deduplicated too. So let's see now how we can defeat the optimization. Unfortunately, this optimization is very fragile. There are many ways to break it. 
we saw that it works fine with const char star, but if instead we change the type to char array, like this, then uh, then the program makes a copy of, it, of the literal when it creates the variable. So let's see the result. So as you can see, the address are different, meaning that the um, uh, there are two copies in RAM. We see two copies, but in reality there are three. In reality there are um, number of uh, copies. So there is one copy in flash uh, to store the, the the string with the program, and here we have three copies in RAM. One for the literal, one for S1, and one for S2. So similarly, if we change the type to string, and again, if we print the address of the buffers, we'll have the same result. Let's see. Again, we see that the address are different, meaning meaning that the, um, there are two copies in RAM. And as I'm saying, uh, as I said previously, there are actually three copies. One for the string literal, the or original string, if you want, and uh, one for S1 and another one for S2. And the copy is made when each object of type string is constructed. Let's talk now about flash string. Do you think the compiler deduplicates flash strings, or program strings, if you will, in the same way? Well, unfortunately, no. And again, it's very easy to verify. We just need to reuse the same snippet, changing only the type of the variables. So, let me go back to my original code. Yeah. So, but I use program. The program attribute here and there. I need to move these strings to the global scope because uh, the compiler won't let me use the program uh, the program attribute in a function, or I will need to add static. But I want to keep it things simple. So let's try. Okay. Again, we see that the address are different, um, proving that the optimization didn't, didn't work. But unlike our previous examples, these, address, these ad addresses refer to the flash memory, not to the RAM. Indeed, the attribute progman instructs the compiler not to load the string in RAM, but instead to point to the location in the program memory. So you could be tempted to to keep the attribute program and use a, a pointer instead. You will have to add cons here, otherwise the compiler will not be happy. But that will simply it will not do what you think it does. In fact, in that case, the compiler simply ignores the the attribute. Now let's talk about the macro f that we see in all Arduino examples. It's good, right? I'm afraid it's not good at all. I would even say it's worse because it gives you a false sense of rightfulness. Indeed, the syntax is so close to a classic uh, string literal that we believe it behaves the same way. Again, it's very easy to demonstrate. Let's let's go back to oh, oh, oh to this second. Okay, so here instead of storing a const star, I will have receive a pointer to a flash a string helper. Okay, we could use auto, of course, and one string and the other. Let's see what happens. Uh, 
again two different addresses meaning that there are two copies of the string in the flash memory so like before these address are referring to the flash memories and i will add the number of copies just to be clear in this program there are two strings in flash and zero in ram because that the whole point of uh, f and of progmem is to make zero copy in ram sadly many people believe that they are following the best practices by calling f everywhere but in reality they are bloating their program with useless copies of the same string this limitation is one of the many reasons I avoid file flash strings in my programs. I only use them for long and unique and rarely used strings like log message, for example. Let's see how string interning have an impact on string comparison. Now we've seen the benefit of string interning and all the ways we can defeat the optimization. Let's talk about one major pitfall, the comparison of string with the, str the operator equals equals. If you use the operator equal equal on pointer types, it compares the addresses, not the content. As we saw, two identical strings can have the same address when, when string interning works, or different addresses when string interning doesn't apply. Let's see an example. So if I write const char star color equals black as before, if then I do color equal is equals black, then it will be true because the two literals here have the same address. So all is well, but this test sub stops working as soon as I change the type of the variable. So now it returns false. Why? Because color, the array, uh, has a different address than the string literal. Because we made a copy when we constructed the, the, the color variable. That is why it is crucial never to use the operator equal equal to compare strings in char, in char arrays or in char stars. Instead, we must use strcmp, a function for, from the C standard library that compares uh, characters one by one. So, so this is the proper way of um, comparing strings in uh, in C or C++. Okay, so admittedly this, is, this program is less readable um, and um, less expressive and more error prone, but that's our legacy from the C language. An alternative is to use the string class. Indeed, if we, if we change the type to color, uh, to, to, of color to string, we, we can use the, uh, the equal equal operator because, because it, calls S, uh, it, it calls the overloaded operator a string operator equals equal. It's just a regular function that has this fancy syntax. However, that is not a reason to use this class everywhere because it comes with its own baggage, namely heap allocation and string duplication. But that's a topic for another video. So in conclusion, uh, string interning is a powerful optimization, but it can be easily defeated. In particular, beware of the F macro that pretends to work like a string literal, but bloats your program with multiple copies of the same string. I thought you might want to run the test on your microcontroller, so I uploaded the samples, the sample programs, uh, a sample program that shows the address of the strings of various types. So you can find it at this address. 
let me see if I still have it here. Yes. So here is uh, the full program. There are the various type of um, of strings, and in each case we we print the two addresses. Let's try. And here we go. So, as you can see, only the char star have the same address. Every other types return a different address, meaning that this the string interning is only one working for const char star. So that's all I have to say about string interning. I hope you learned something today. If so, uh, please share with your friend. Uh, leave a thumbs up and uh, if you want more videos like this please subscribe to the channel see you soon